really just the back of this building. It's, it's also got a, an SME innovation hub. So SMEs will be able to come and use them to sell it. That's actually an autonomous vehicle, because it's going to be an autonomous vehicle sculpture as well, so you'll be able to jump. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Boris. How are you? Morning, how are you? Nice to see you. And to you, mate. Fantastic. Well, when you're, a hole, when you're in a hole as big as this one, the only option is to keep digging. Go on, let's keep on digging. <laughs> keep digging. So we're digging a new foundation all, here. Philosophy. You're underrepresented here in terms of degree level yeah, qualified yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I noticed that. But will they be able... I wash my hands. I wash my hands on the way in. Clean, clean. There we go. That's off. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Good. My friends, I am not a communist. I believe it is also the job of government to create the conditions for free market enterprise. And yes, we, of course, we clap for our NHS. But under this government, we also applaud those who make our NHS possible. Our innovators, our wealth creators, our capitalists, our financiers. Because in the end, in the end, it's their willingness to take risks with their own money that will be crucial for our future success. We will build, build, build. Build back better, build back greener, build back faster. And to do that at the pace that this moment requires, we need now to distill the very best of the psychic energy of the last few months. Let's take the zap and elan of the armed services who built the Nightingales. Let's take the selflessness and the love of the health and the care workers and the charities, the public spirit and the good humor of the entire population, and let's brew them together with the superhuman energy of Captain Tom, bounding around his garden at the age of 100 and raising millions for charity. Let's take that combination, that spirit, bottle it, swig it, and I believe we will have found, if not quite a magic potion, at least the right formula to get us through these dark times. And I must stress that there will still be some tough times ahead. Well, the Prime Minister promised a new deal, but there's not much that's new and it's not much of a deal. We're facing um, an economic crisis, the biggest we've seen in a generation, and the recovery needs to match that. What's been announced amounts to less than £100 per person, and it's the re-announcement of many manifesto pledges and commitments. So it's not enough.